Hello students, so after covering the first numerical on partial differentiation of second order, let's move to the second numerical. So here guys, I have a new function and the new question for you. And uh, let me tell you that this one is the most difficult question from student point of view because they feel it difficult if they get such type of question. So do you want to know how it is or what is the question? So just come and just watch the video so that you will come to know how that question comes and how to solve the question. So let's start. So your value of u is given as log of x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz. And guys, we have to prove that dou by dou x. So dou by dou x is a word generally called it in Mumbai University, but it is uh, generally called as del by del x plus del by del y plus del by del z, the whole square u and we have to prove that its value is equal to negative 9 upon x plus y plus z the whole square now guys uh, as i was telling you a few minutes before that this is not that much easy question and uh, let me tell you why it's not so easy because here we have the square term so if i want to differentiate this u with respect to any differential term let's say with respect to x or y with or z first of all i have to remove this Two or this square because if I remove this square then I can differentiate this u with respect to x with respect to y and with respect to z very easily now the question is how to remove this square so guys for that what I'm gonna do is I have, uh, we know the basic property that whenever we have three square okay in algebra we say it is three into three or five square is five into five it means you repeat that number two times or you multiply the same number with the same number okay so here i have one bracket square so what i'll do is instead of that i will write down that bracket two times and i'll multiply that bracket with the with each other so there will be two brackets with multiplication sign in between and will write you outside so it means here we have so So guys, you can see that how I've written this bracket. Now you can see that this square is removed. Now I can take this u inside or you can say that we can differentiate this u with respect to x, y and z. So this first bracket will remain as it is. And here this second bracket due to this u will become del u by del x plus del u by del y so it means this given function or this given LHS is this and to get the value of this LHS we have to find out del u by del x del u by del y and del u by del z first and for that u is given so now guys let's start with that let's find out these three values and then put those three values over here get the value and again differentiate that function with respect to x y and z to get the right hand side so let's start so here this is the value of u and if i differentiate with respect to x partially we get this as one upon So guys, I'm assuming that you all know the derivative of log of a function of x or log of x. And if you have not revised the formula of derivative, then please go back and revise the formula because we are in a chapter of partial differentiation and it requires the formula of derivative. So this is the derivative of this given function into the derivative of x cube is 3x squared then derivative of y cube is 0 because we are differentiating partially with respect to x. So apart from x, the other variables will be treated as constant. So y cube constant, z cube constant here, 3yz constant, so negative 3yz outside and the derivative of x is 1. So guys, okay, this is the value that we got by differentiating with respect to x. Now similarly, if I differentiate with respect to y, then 
here this term will remain as it is but here we will get 3 y square because that time this will be 0 this will be 0 and this function this term will give us 3 y square and here we will get negative 3 x z and derivative y will be 1 so we will get the similar terms for del u by del y and del u by del z so guys this time i'll write down those terms directly So guys we got all three values now here we have to add those three values then only we'll get the value of this bracket so let's add it so here i'll say therefore now guys here in these three functions if you'll observe then the denominator is same so i can take a common denominator for these three functions And now we will add the terms in the numerator. So in the numerator we have 3y square, 3z square and here 3x square. So I can take 3 common and we will get x square plus y square plus z square in brackets. Similarly here we have minus 3yz minus 3xz minus 3xy. So here also again I can take the 3 common and we can get the uh, negative yz, negative xz, negative xy in the bracket. So guys here we will get. 3 times x cube plus y cube plus z cube and from this also we are getting 3 common so we will write those term here only so negative xy negative yz negative xz now let's simplify this and for that you should know some formula of algebra so guys in the denominator you can see that x cube plus y cube plus z cube negative negative 3xyz do you know formula for this so let me tell you that formula so i'll substitute that formula over here to get the answer so here i'll say it is equal to 3 times now guys the formula of this algebraic term is x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus xy minus yz minus xz into x plus y plus z so this is a formula from algebra which i'm sure that you have done in 11th or 12th standard so guys i'm gonna use this formula and due to this you can observe that the term from numerator and denominator will be cancelled and we will get 3 upon x plus y plus z so here yeah, we'll write down the result that is 3 upon x plus y plus z so guys, this is the value of addition of this three term so it means i can say that i got the value of this bracket as 3 upon x plus y plus z so guys let's put that value over here so to that value i'm going to differentiate with respect to x then with respect to y and then with respect to z so we'll get if i differentiate this function with respect to x then 3 is a constant and here we have 1 upon x so the derivative of 1 upon x is negative 1 upon x square so that will become minus 1 upon x plus y plus z the whole square similarly then plus now if i differentiate with respect to y again i'll get negative 3 upon x plus y plus z the whole square and if i differentiate with respect to z again we'll get the same answer that is negative 3 upon x plus y plus z the whole square 
Now guys, this is nothing but negative 3 upon x plus y plus z the whole square 3 times and that will become negative 9 upon x plus y plus z the whole square. And guys, if you'll observe, then it is exactly equal to the right hand side. So here, we got the result and I'm sure that you understood how I uh, solved this complex function and how I got the value for this given question. So keep watching the videos of Ikeda because here you can get the knowledge about all subjects of engineering and do subscribe to Ikeda channel. Thank you very much.